Welcome to Progreso, Yucatan. Progreso sits on the northern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and it's a port town right between the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. So you'll find beautiful beaches and the world's longest pier. Thank you for joining us today. We are Jenny and Kevin with Eat Baila Travel. Before we show you around, we're going to show you how we got here from Merida. From our Airbnb, we rode our bikes to the center of Merida to take the bus to Progreso. Finally we made it, that bike ride in the sun was hot. Fire tickets. It's about 23 pesos each way to get there and back, and it should be anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour. The bus to Progreso leaves every 20 minutes. It's super sweaty. This bike ride, but we get a 20 minute break to cool off. Oh, so we finally made it to Progreso, an hour. Felt right. like forever, it was so hot. I mean, they have AC, but it's still so hot. It, it took forever because the traffic in Merida was rough, and I don't know, I just I need a beach now because I feel really, really tired. From I felt like I drove for some reason, I don't know, it's exhausting, but we're here. After that bus ride, I really want a boli. Maybe we can find one at Mercado. Monday. Wow. It's so much prettier than what I remember. Last time we came, they were all of this was under construction. Nice to come back and enjoy what was closed down. So nice. This malecon is so beautiful. I like the design that they're putting. It looks new and it looks like they're fixing the rest of it. Yeah, but Progreso's popularity has grown in recent years and I can tell that they're really putting money into developing the infrastructure and making this a more welcoming town for tourists. So it'll be cool to see how much it continues to grow and improve in the next few years too. I had the biggest craving for a boli, a Mexican popsicle made of natural fruit, but this vendor only saw artificially flavored ones. But not what you were looking for. Not exactly what I was looking for. When you have them natural, the cocoa sugar is way better than artificial. The next craving to satisfy a michelada. Micheladas on a hot day are the next best thing to a natural boli. Micheladas are so refreshing and can be made in different flavors. Tamarindo, mango, habanero, pineapple, chamoy. Just pick your beer and flavor and enjoy. I like Pacifico Light just so I can keep drinking. <laughs> Salud! Modelorama came in clutch today. Mm. Modelorama clutch every day, but today is the first time I see them sell micheladas right in front of their stand. Oh, it's so good. Jenny didn't want one. Can I have some though? Hell no. You're not gonna share? Ha, I always win. Super refreshing. Mmm. Mm. I want to swing. Really nice. 
Here's a fun fact about Progreso. The pier in Progreso is the longest pier in the world. The pier extends into the Gulf of Mexico six and a half kilometers. The long length is necessary to allow large ships to dock since the Yucatan coast is very shallow. The limestone shelf that forms the Yucatan Peninsula falls away at such a shallow angle that it is literally kilometers before the water is deep enough to accommodate cargo vessels. I really don't remember any of this stuff being here last time. I wonder how new it is, but what a Ferris wheel, beautiful murals, pretty lights. Oh man, this is so cool. Progreso is an easy day trip from Merida and worth visiting if you're looking for a more relaxed beach town with just enough to explore. That was cool. See? Can't say I've never been fishing before. <laughs> no, it was, it was like really sad though because they were all jumping in the beginning fighting for their lives and then they just got tired. And then I'll be able to pick it up. Yeah. You ready to get in the water? Hell yeah, let's go. I do want to point out that this beach doesn't have much of a shade. So you either have to eat at a restaurant and consume some for you to get a nice table with a shade. Or prepare to burn. <laughs> the wind today is crazy around here, but the beach is so beautiful. I almost wish like the waves are good enough to surf because this water is perfect. Perfect. It's like kind of chilly, but just perfect. Now the winds are way too strong now and it even hurts to hang out by the beach. So, like, oh my God, look at your face. No. You look like a breaded steak. This is not comfortable at all. This is not relaxing. The sand hurts like little shards of glass. Ugh. Shit, I think it's time to go get some food. Come yeah. on. one look at me and they said she's thirsty. I wanted my own popsicle so I got me a michelada. This itself is nice because you get a dessert and a drink before food. Now popsicle is super super good. It's mostly uh, limon and chamoy. Mm. But they go so well together. Seafood here is amazing. We keep coming back every time we come to Merida. It's a must, must, must visit. We got ourselves a carpaccio de salmon. They prepared it so nicely with limoncito, olive oil, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Ooh. Ooh. Nice little salad to balance out life, you know, because life is all about that balance. Explosive. Explosive taste. Oh my so so good. This is our favorite thing to get every time we come to Merida. We always visit those mariscos del Chichi. They have two locations in Merida and one here in Progreso. It's our first time trying the one in Progreso, but we always get the Pupo las Brasas. We serve it on a pineapple. I can say this with all the confidence in the world that this is the best octopus that you're gonna have in Mexico. It's easily my favorite 
and it's so soft. The herbs that they put on it are local to the to Merida, to the Yucatan area. So we haven't seen another guisado or like another way that this this octopus is prepared like here. But make sure you don't miss out on this. I promise. It is very pricey. It almost costs about twenty five dollars, but. How does it look? Best octopus in the world. We would have made the vlog just about this octopus, but we don't know how to cook it, so. No mames, that muy, muy rico esto. No quiero que se acabe. I can't finish it because I don't want to finish it. Because then it's over. It's over. Oh, so good. This salsa has just the right amount of kick and flavor. Baby girl, all that food and you still got food, room for dessert? Marquesitas are Yucatan's most popular treat. Today we got ours with the iconic Dutch Edam cheese, cajeta, and strawberries, and the other one with peanut butter and mazapan. Amazing. All right, so thanks for joining us in Progreso today. Hope you had fun with us. Don't forget this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Se cuidan, se bañan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao. Ah.